Welcome back to our continuing YouTube series on internet marketing. My name is Christopher Neufeld with Neufeld Legal Professional Corporation. And this is not necessarily a legal video series that you've joined us on. But our internet marketing video series, which is intended to help other businesses uh, promote their business through the internet, websites, YouTube, and the like, and provide you with helpful hints as you move forward. In this particular video, we're going to be discussing 10 tips related to selecting a domain name. Domain names are extremely important to the success of your website. It's the, probably one of the more efficient and cost-effective methods of enhancing the visibility of your website and strengthening its performance through various search engines and their algorithms. So let's go through our 10 tips and I'll discuss a bit about each one. First, make your domain name easy to type. You don't want to make it difficult, ask, get people to think about what the wording is, um, be overly creative in double lettering, misspellings. People aren't going to remember it. People, you want people to remember it, make it understandable and clear. Second, keep it short. To the extent possible, you want to try to keep the length of your domain name down. If you're including additional words that provide clarification, this is not really an issue. It's really the difficulty of remembering stuff. So if you have to add in the name of your city, or town into the domain name to try to obtain a domain name that works best for yourself that shouldn't be a problem it's just when you try to put in too many different words that are disjointed it can cause a degree of problems third use keywords keywords are the critical search terms that people are typically looking for Primary among those are the business service that you are providing or the business product that you are, type of business product that you are providing. And when it is location specific, you might also be looking to include the location. Fourth, once again, target your area. Location is critical. You want to be focusing your search, and especially given the fact that some of the more predominant uh, website domain names are already taken, you won't be able to get those great one word, two word domain names anymore. However, by adding your location, whether it's to the beginning or to the end, you may very well be able to get a domain name that includes both the service that you provide plus the location, and it's easily remembered. Fifth, Avoid numbers and hyphens. The problem with numbers and hyphens is that you're most likely sitting on somebody else's domain name that doesn't utilize those numbers and hyphens. And that is the name that typically people will go to. The really good domain names don't include any extraneous underscores, hyphens, spaces, numbers. They're pretty straightforward. Unless your business name specifically involves a number and it's of significance to it, you want to just focus on words and the letters in those words. Sixth, be memorable and distinct. You want to define yourself through your domain name. This doesn't necessarily mean that you're using the name of your business, as we talked about in another vi YouTube video. The intention is to focus the attention of your audience on what you are looking to provide and making your domain name centered on that focus. Seventh, do your research into the domain name. Look to make sure that you're not transgressing any trademarks or copyrights. And this can be done by going to the searchable national databases 
for trademarking, as well as searching variations of the uh, domain name that you are looking to use. Take the time to go through Google and Bing and other search engines, put in that name, and see if anybody is already using it. You don't want to find yourself creating a name and losing it afterwards because there's a trademark or a copyright associated with the name. Eighth, use an appropriate domain name extension. There are so many extensions out there right now. They, it seems good to use it, but most people don't really look towards them. If possible, you want to use the .com version. If not, .net is often available. And if you're going country specific, then you might look at the country specific domain names, be it .ca for Canada, .co, .uk for the United Kingdom, or whatever national uh, domain name that they, is available to yourself. Sometimes you might look to use these new alternates that exist, but be very careful about them. And check out the uh, primary ones, the .coms, .nets, .co's, uh, .orgs, to see if you're really going to be transgressing on somebody else's domain name. As well, you'll find that if you use the wrong uh, extension, well, if you use an alternate extension, people will, by default, naturally go to the .com extension and plug that in. Ninth, protect and build your brand. Your domain name is a powerful part of your brand, so you want to build it into all that you do. And finally, don't wait around. This is a 10th tip. You don't get your domain names, so they're inexpensive, even if you spend a few dollars and you change it later on. You don't need to have your website already in good because people jump onto websites and get domain names and then you're out of luck. So those are 10 important tips to consider when choosing your own domain name. Hopefully it's been of assistance to yourself. Please like this video if you did and also please subscribe to our YouTube video channel. We're looking forward to providing you many new insights into internet marketing. Thank you very much and we look forward to seeing you again.